I've been coding since I was seven. I've never seen anything move so fast. Can you imagine that we will soon have spaceships traveling at the speed of light or even faster? Generative AI is a space where the app of the day is obsolete the day after and where commenting on a month-old thread is essentially considered necromancy at this point. So I thought I'd do a little weekly series where we explore what's new in Comfy UI, the latest advancement in the technology, and how to keep up with the Kardashians, so to speak, or the Joneses, or whatever works for you. The first exciting release this week is Motion Director for Animate Diff is out. And what that means in simple English is that you can take a bunch of training videos, pass it into the trainer, and then prompt against that motion LoRa like you would do in traditional Animate Diff to obtain an output video. By the way, Batman running in the woods is the new meta, so go with that now. <laughs> <laughs> so the training video is, uh, in this case, a man running in the street. You can see that if you prompt it with a highly realistic video of Batman running in a mythic, mystic forest, you get, well, exactly that. And what's fantastic is the accuracy, the, the consistency is excellent, really excellent. And you can, of course, go completely bananas and change it with a rabbit if you wanted to. And it's going to track that motion and... This is a game changer in my opinion. You no longer have to use some dodgy stock video website that you may or may not have the licenses to to obtain your motion footage. You can go grab your cell phone, film yourself or film your friend in your garden and obtain that motion you want to then reproduce in each scene. So are we going to see some extraordinary short films made entirely in Confi UI? Yes, it's possible. It's finally here. So some people and this is how fast it moves. Two hours later, Kijai from the Banadoko server was already doing some tests and you can see how well it tracks the face. Even the eye movement is tracked. Now, pay no mind to the fact that the image is morphed and so on because we can apply, of course, segmentation to this in post and so on within Confi, of course. But the post process is now also happening in Confi, which is also exciting. And you can apply it to different anime characters. This was released literally two hours. I just can't get over this after uh, the code was pushed up. That's how fast people move. And to use it, you simply need to use Confi UI Animate Diff Evolved by the amazing developer Kosin Kadink. Yeah, I pronounced his name right, which is obviously the chap who gave us Animate Diff in Confi UI. You install the set of nodes and then you simply apply the motion LoRa that you just trained using Motion Director to your prompt or to your whatever else. You can mix and match and you're going to get that output at very high speed. It's it's pretty fast, even on a 2080. The training process is going to take around 12 gig of RAM, so more RAM than the usual 8 that I'm working with. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to train my own LoRa's just yet, but hey, the computer's in the mail, as they say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they say that. Oh. Okay. Next up, we have a tutorial by Suzy One. Suzy One, you probably know her. She's uh, in Civit AI. She's doing some amazing work, including uh, the creation of the fantastic and completely slept on, in my opinion, Confi Roll suite of nodes, uh, which is extraordinarily powerful. I highly recommend you go check out our work on Civit AI and on GitHub. So she has created a tutorial uh, that's literally hello world in Confi UI, and it's going to help you create those custom nodes yourself. If you wanted to do that personally, I would love to have a single case sampler node that does the step proportion between the first case sampler and the refiner. And I'm very much thinking about actually giving it a shot because it would help a lot of people and it would help me too because I'm tired of having to redo the same thing over and over again. Uh, so go and check it out. It's a great way to learn. And I really encourage you to also contribute if you can. The big problem we have with Confi UI right now in this environment in general is that we don't have enough documentation. Susie is doing an amazing job at building a little wiki for for a project, but as you can see, there's hundreds of nodes in CR Confi Roll, and not all the documentation is completely finished. So I think it would be fantastic if people could pull resources together and go help her create this collection of resources so we can all learn and benefit from it. 
Moving on, we have another exciting release, and it's Control Net Lite. Now, Control Net Lite, of course, as you know, has been out for five, six months now, and its anime counterpart four months. But what's new is that you now have support for it within Advanced Control Net, and this is important because it's the Apply Control Net node, the specifically the Advanced Apply Control Net node in Config UI Advanced Control Net that works with Animate Diff today. So essentially what that means is you can now use Control Light as part of your Animate Diff workflows. That's really, really exciting. And so I've created a little workflow demo for you. Uh, and it's a static image, of course, because I wanted to keep it as simple as possible where I load a completely legal image and then I use a Excel model right? Because you remember before the control nets were only limited to your 1.5 models and pass it through the standard clip encoder, so on and so forth, and my preview, blah, blah, blah. And now I get my output image, which is my little anime dude. Now, this is exciting for more than one reason. Control light is, first of all, as I said, working with SDXL, which is a big improvement. And second, it's also a lot faster. So go check it out and use it, play with it. In this case, of course, I could have segmented the background to make it look better, but that's not the point. The point was to create a node that you could use immediately. And the big difference here is simply you have your model being passed as model optional to the apply advanced control net that wasn't here before this node this node connector, I should say, wasn't here before, and you pass it back to the key sampler and off you go to the races. Very straightforward stuff. If you want this workflow, I've uploaded it on confiworkflows.com, so it should appear if you have the extension in your Confi workflow gallery within your Confi interface itself. Oh, and while I have you, here's a little tip for you. You see that if I drag this image node over there, I get a series of options. And sometimes you're limited to those fives by default. Unfortunately, sometimes the one you want is later on. So in this case, preview image over here, let's say I wanted to change that to get more option. You can actually change this in Confi and change the number of node suggestion. I feel that 10 is reasonable. After that, it gets a little bit crazy, but it works very well. And that allows you to work a lot faster by being able to pick up what uh, Confi thinks you might need next, in this case, a preview image or an upscale, etc. So a little tip here I thought I'd insert because I've seen a lot of people struggle with this. The other thing you can do is uh, use the search button and type whatever node you're looking for. In this case, I want Beautify. Beautify, by the way, is by Trong, is the inventor of the 0246 node set. And it's absolutely fantastic. Just don't forget to set it to full and it can take any input and convert it back to whatever format you expected. In this case, uh, it's gonna show that it's a tensor. So this is really useful for debugging. It works with text, it works with int, it works with, well, it works with anything. That's that's the whole point of it, right? So go and use that really useful Beautify node by Trunk 0246. Another huge release is SVDXT11 image to vid just came out. Uh, you can download it from Hugging Face. Uh, it's, it works exactly like the previous one, so you can integrate it as part of your standard SVD workflow if you already have one. If you do not, uh, there are examples on various websites. I particularly like the work done by a member of the Banodoko community called Purs, who's made a comparison between the original uh, photo that you use as a base, the results from SVD 1.1 and the previous results from SVD 1.0. And he's done a lot of those trials and some of them uh, will show differences uh, and for the better, sometimes for the worse, unfortunately. But there's definitely been an important update here that you need to pay attention to. If you want to use this workflow and you don't have an existing one, you can simply go on Purse Beats GitHub repo and download the workflow from there. He's actually uploaded his entire grid workflow. Uh, it's super easy to use. You can make your own comparison and see how you get on with that. SVD is what was used by Mamimi on a 4K AI perfume commercial released a couple months ago. I can't wait to see the updated version on 1.1 if there's gonna be one. But this is the type of content that really demonstrate that locally on our machines today, we can create content that's just as good, if not better, than some of the best software as a service platform. And we do this entirely for free using free and open source tools. Uh, evidently here, you can see the video has been interpolated a lot. It's in slow motion, etc. But are we close to being able to create 
create perfume commercials uh, using only our local computers. Yes, we're getting there. And Mamemi has made this workflow available on open art, so you can go and download it and test it for yourself. Just change from SVD 1.0 to 1.1 and you can give that a shot yourself. It's exciting and you should definitely reward the people who contribute to this space. Another huge release this week, yes, another one, is Animate LCM is out. Yeah, so what does that mean? Well, if you like LCM because it's fast, it allows you to render at what seems like almost real-time speeds on certain video cards, you, but you couldn't use it for videos, all your prayers have been answered. You can download the model on Hugging Face as usual. Don't forget to give it a like. And someone has already done a little test video on Reddit where you can see the output. I think it looks really good. Of course it's LCM. Of course you're not gonna get the same results as other uh, techniques, but it's really good for something like trying out new techniques and of course speed. So if you wanna try it out, this person has uploaded the workflow on a site called Floaty, which I wasn't aware of, but I'll give it a shot. It looks kind of fun. Evidently, you also have access to the official uh, Animate LCM Civit AI page, which also has workflows, examples, and a lot of tips on how to configure this properly and make it work on your machine. So go give it a shot. You will need Config UI Animate Diff Evolved to use uh, Animate LCM. It's now compatible again. Uh, Kosin Kadink doing amazing work here and you should definitely support him on his Patreon. I think he's one of the best creators out there and even though he hasn't posted, you know what, the work he does in his GitHub repo more than makes up for it. So last week I showed you Moondream. Moondream is a vision model that can be run locally and it's absolutely fantastic. You upload an image and it tells you everything that's in the image. You can imagine that you could use this to create some exciting stuff with dynamic prompts and Confi, and that's exactly what some creators have done with Confi, image, Confi UI image to prompt, which will use uh, Moondream output to prompt the image and recreate something else. You could say only pick up the uh, background elements or only the foreground elements and then feed this to a prompt and generate another image. I'm personally thinking of doing some dynamic uh, video background fill with this, but you can use it for anything you want. So what I wanted to show you today was this uh, audio model, not a vision model, but an audio model and it's called Parakit and it transcribes well audio and it's absolutely fantastic. I won't play this because this is extraordinarily embarrassing. To test these things, I sing into the microphone and I'm a terrible singer. So, but it does, it does pick up your words and my terrible French accent at very high speed no problem whatsoever. Once again, how you use this is up to you, but I think it's exciting. Will it be implemented in Confi? I'm sure someone's working on it in some capacity. And remember, we have the tutorial that we saw earlier. So if you wanna go and build something cool, this could be a good way to do some multimedia installation, things like that, and then deploy it as part of um, an art gallery or something of that nature, or maybe you just wanna do it for fun. In any case, moving on, the next release, and this is huge, uh, is Segmine. Segmo, everything is Mo these days. Uh, so Mo is this Mo, mixture of expert, not that Mo. Yeah, no, not, not that one. But if you're familiar with what mixture of experts can do for you with LLMs, which is essentially having multiple, well, experts LLM answering your questions simultaneously, one might be very good at code, for example, the other one might be better at the generation of prose or poetry and so on. Well, it does that, but it does it for imaging. So it has a lot of advantages, specifically obviously these several fine-tune experts uh, and also it can be upgraded over time. I think that if you look at, uh, yes, the release has four stable diffusion experts model as part of Segmo X42 and there's also Segmo 2X1 which has two stable diffusion expert models. Uh, and it's going to allow for uh, this better adaptability to the data, but it has limitation, it's not for speed, and it will have some RAM disagreements. People that have used it are saying good things about it. As you can see, it's growing parabolically, but it's still very much a niche use case at this point in time, but give it a shot if you can. Everything is available on Hugging Face, and if you want, contact me, and I'll make sure that you're featured in the next video. And I didn't have a good ending for this video, so I'll leave you on this. Say what you want about America, land of the free, home of the brave. We got some dumbass mother.